All right, let's talk about file management. When you create a website or a web application, it's going to have a lot of different files that go with that project. We need to have a logical structure for these files and organize where they're going to be saved so that when we work on our website locally on our computer, to have all those related files in, that sing in a single folder, and it's going to mirror the published website file structure once it gets on the server where it will be seen on the internet when it goes live. So the folder will contain a file always called index.html. So here is an image of what your project folder might look like. There's the index.html file, and that will be the home page of your website. If there's more than one page in our folder, other HTML files would also be at that same level as index.html. You'll also usually have three other folders as well, images, scripts, and styles. They don't have to be these exact names, but these are common names that are used. The images folder will have all your images that you'll use on your website or web application. The styles will contain all the CSS files, and your scripts folder will contain any JavaScript files that you might have for your website. So let's see how this file structure would look inside of VS Code. If you get these, do you trust the authors of these files? It will always be your file, so you can always just say open. Oh, <laughs> I was trying to open the picture there. That's what it was doing. Okay, so we want to click on the little Explorer icon here. And we're going to go ahead and we can either click Add Folder here, or you can go to the File menu option and say add a folder. So either one of those would work and it's going to open up your file management. So um, maybe a finder window on a Mac or this um, Internet Explorer window. Um, and this time we're going to go ahead and make a new folder while we're in this this area. So maybe I'll go to documents and perhaps I'll find my class that I'm that I'm using. And I'll open that up, and then we can go ahead and add a new folder. And I'm going to just call it About Me. So this is going along with our project this week. So you would name it whatever your project name was. All right, then we'll go ahead and click Add. So this is going to be our project folder, and you can see it here. And we're going to go ahead and add some of that file structure that we talked about. And we can easily do that in a couple of different ways. Again, it's asking you, do I trust this? I say yes. You can use these icons here that would add a new file or a new folder. Or you can right click over the top of this folder and do that. So let's go ahead and add our, a new file. And that icon right there would have done the same thing. And we can say index.html. So we have a home page. We can also go in here and add a new folder instead of a file, and this time we can call it styles, and we can add another one for, oh, now notice what I just did. I had styles highlighted, and I added a folder. If I add a folder here, it's going to be inside of this other folder. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that out and make sure I'm on the right one to add the right folder. And this one, I wanted to go ahead and put images. Okay, so I have two folders and an index file. And here's where, if now if I wanted a file inside the folder, I would highlight styles and maybe I would go ahead and put my main.css in there and that kind of thing. All right, so if you look at your file explorer and you go into the same area that we just did that, you will actually see that same setup here. So it's just a way to do it. You could have done it all here in your um, file management system of your operating system, and it would have worked as well. There's also, just so you guys could know, if you needed to not only delete, but you can rename, co copy. There's a bunch of different things with that right-clicking pop-up menu um, that you might use as well.